Okay, so Peggy, we, we have the, the part about the homework and preparation down now. I want to ask you about live trading. And when you actually get in there and you have your, your watch list and the things you want to buy or the things you want to short, um, what details do you look for that uh, makes you pick uh, one stock or the other from your watch list or know uh, when to get out of one if it's not working? Um, I look for the volume. Volume's key. If you're getting into something with volume and you know that stock, you've researched it and you know how much that volume is on a five minute candle or pre market volume or the first 30 minute volume, I'm looking for that. I'm looking for option flow. I actually, um, if I am in a directional option trade, I will chart that option and I will, it, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. You can use that as it, the technicals work just as good as that as the underlying. I want to see volume coming in on the options too. I know we did an Adobe trade and um, it, it worked out really good. It was on a high tight flag pattern. We were in it because it had an event coming up. It um, hit our target of 37, but before it did, mm -hmm. it was so nice to be looking at the option and bam, thousand, two thousand contracts start coming in. But what if I, you know what, let's stay in this trade a bit longer. And it turned out to be really well. Mm -hmm. um, so what do you look for um, in the other case where you uh, you would see certain, op what types of option activity or volume activity would uh, would you say, oh, it's time to get out? Maybe earlier, maybe later, like you said, than uh, you had planned to, adjusting on the fly? Well, um, I, I give... Uh, it's more important to me how the stock looks technically than any option. I mean, to me, if I, if the reason for being in there is still valid, then I entered. And if I, if on the time frame I'm looking at, if I'm still, if everything's still working and there's no reason to get out, I, I won't let that interfere. Um, it, it comes down to your personal rules. I think you should have a reason to, you, you need to have plan for an exit or entrance a good entry and an exit and target um, your profit target one, two, mm -hmm. three. And then when are you wrong and what's your stop going to be? And if you get in this and it goes up only to, okay, I'm not going to be the one saying it'll come back. It'll come back. I mean, it doesn't have to come back. Mm 